In this video, you will learn how to make an appointment for Asylum using the CBP1 app. This video does not explain other uses of this app, such as submitting I-94 information. To get started, download the CBP1 app from the App Store or Google Play. The app is free. The app will redirect you to login.gov where you can create an account or log into an existing account. You will also receive a confirmation email after creating your account. To start, you must accept the terms and conditions. You will then need to allow the app to share information about you by selecting Continue. Enter your email address and password to sign into your account. You then need to enter the six-digit one-time code sent to your cell phone and submit. The code expires after 10 minutes. You can ask for a new code if it expires. If you cannot use your phone, there are other ways to get a code. Once in the app, select Traveler, then select Land, and then Continue. Next, select Submit Advanced Information. Remember, you'll need to provide information before you go to a port of entry at the border. On the pop-up window, select Edit Profile. Enter your first and last name as they appear on your legal documents. Select Done and choose your preferred language to fill out the form in the app. Then select Continue. To get an appointment, you must allow the app to use your location. Choose Allow Once or Allow While Using App. Then Continue. The next step is to certify that you, your spouse, or your child meet the vulnerability criteria. You must confirm that one of the listed requirements in the bullets is true. Select Continue. And then select Register Travelers. You then need to select Add Traveler to register yourself. Select Continue. You will need to repeat this later for each family member you are traveling with. First, you must take a photo of yourself. Click Take a Photo. The app will ask permission to access your camera. Select OK. Make sure to have good lighting, hold the phone in front of your face, look straight at the camera, and center your face in the oval frame. Click on the button at the bottom to take the photo. A pop-up window will let you know if the photo is accepted. Select Submit Photo. If the photo is not accepted, try retaking the photo. The app will then have you fill out biographical information. This includes your name, date of birth, country of citizenship, as well as other questions, including information about your travel documents. When done, select Continue. Make sure you type in your email correctly. If you have a job, answer yes. You'll have to answer questions about your current job and employer. If you've traveled to another country in the past year, answer yes. Include all the countries you have visited along with the dates of arrival and departure. Select Continue. Next, provide information about your family starting with your marital status. If your father and mother are alive, answer yes and include their information. Select Continue. You will then need to add all family members you are traveling with and plan to live with in the U.S. and repeat the process for each one. This is very important. It will include taking a photo and providing the requested information for each person. The next step is to fill out the address where you will live in the U.S. and enter a phone number. Continue and fill out additional information about your previous address. If you do not have a formal address, you can answer, I don't have one. If someone helped you with the application, include their information and select Continue. Next, you will need to request a port of entry. You must travel to one of the cities listed for your appointment. You can choose one of the eight ports of entry in the listed Mexican cities. After inputting the city, select Schedule. If you are in Northern Mexico, Ciudad de Mexico, or near the U.S.-Mexico border, you can schedule your appointment now. It is important while you're in Mexico to follow their laws. Pick an available date and time and select Schedule. You are now close to being done. You just need to review the information you provided and make sure it is correct. If it is, select Submit. A window will pop up to confirm. Select Yes, Submit. If you've got an appointment, you will see Submitted Scheduled in green. It will list a place, date, and time for your appointment. You will also receive a confirmation email. If you can, print the confirmation email and bring it to your appointment. If needed, you can cancel or reschedule your appointment. 
If you do not get an appointment, it will say submitted, not scheduled. You will need to try to schedule an appointment again, preferably at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time when new appointments are made available. Remember, you must be in Northern Mexico, Ciudad de Mexico, or near the U.S.-Mexico border to schedule your appointment. If you have trouble using the app, try using a different cell phone, tablet, or Wi-Fi connection. If you receive an error message, click OK and try again. Deleting and reinstalling the app could help too. And lastly, be honest, do not lie on your application. Learn more about asylum at usahello.org.